Okay, let's have a quick look at this question. It goes, the diagram shows the curve. There it is with that equation. X is greater than or equal to zero. That point is zero there. Uh, the norm, the normal to the curve at that point. So this is the normal. Uh, so show that the area of the shaded region enclosed so the curve and the normal curve normal to the curve is this okay so before I start that's normal so there must be a tangent here okay right so first thing first is let's work out the area of this region which is above the axis okay so that's just simply integrating this so if you integrate um, 4 cos 2x over 3 minus sine 2x respect to x and between the limits 0 and a quarter of pi. Now, what you could do is clearly see, I mean, if you can see it, the differential of sine 2x is cos 2x. Okay, so that exists there. Um, so it's not a bad integral to do. You can do that in your head. Uh, but if you can't see it, because the differential exists, uh, what the way I can do it is do it by substitution, so you can see it that way. So if we say let um, u equal sine 2x, du dx will equal, differential of sine is cos 2x, times by the differential of the bracket, which is 2. Okay, so what I do now is if I... Um, yeah, if I can take, uh, change that for u, so I'm going to take a factor of 2 out, so instead of 4, I'm going to put 2 outside, and I'm going to put 2 cos 2x, just because you can see that a bit better, and that's going to be 3 minus, now sine 2x I've called u. Now, since I've done that, I'll have to change the dx to du. So that will go up and that time divide by. So du over 2 cos 2x will equal dx. So I'll replace this dx with du over 2 cos 2x. And that's what I was trying to say. I'm just going to use a different color here. These will cancel. And that will leave you with the simple integral of 1 over 2 3 minus u du. Now before you, well, you can do this after or before, but what you need to do is, now you've got the integral in terms of u, it would be a good idea to change these limits, okay? Change the limits in respect to u, instead of these are limits are in respect to x at the moment. So that's easily done, so if I go here, if I know that u is um, sine to x, if I sub in um, a qu quarter pi, that will be sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is the same as 1. So this upper limit will be 1. And now if I put x as 0 there, u will be sine of double 0 will be 0. And sine of 0 is 0. So this will remain 0. Okay, so if I integrate this, this is... Um, this is a straightforward integral to do. You just put 2 in here. It will be ln because that is a factor of a power of 1. So that will be ln of modulus 3 minus u. Then divided by the differential, which is a minus. Okay, minus 1. And those are the limits uh, 1 and 0. Okay, so now if I put the limits in, that will be, if I put the, uh, first of all, if I put the 1 in there, I'll get 1 into there will be 3 minus 1, which will be 2, so that will be minus n of 2. And if I put the 0 in there, that will be minus minus becomes a plus, and that will be n of now using log rules that will be um, division okay so that will go underneath that will be the um, the numerator that will be denominator so that can be put as 2 ln of 3 over 2 
Now another log rule, you could take the 2 and put it to the power, so that will be ln of 3 over 2 to the power 2. Now if you square that, that will give you ln of 9 over 4. And that's that first part done. Okay, so that was pretty straightforward. If you, you can do that in your head if you spot it. If you can't, you can easily do it by substitution. So that first part is done. Now the second part is um, trying to find out this equation of this normal. Now we've been told that um, this is the normal and we've been told that's the tangent. So what you could do is you could differentiate this function and find the gradient of the tangent and then work it out with the normal. So I'm just going to use this space here to do the second part. So we've done the first part, we're just going to show the second part. Um, so first of all, uh, if I say y equals, uh, I'll do this in a different color, so we know we're not confusing it, y equals 4 cos 2x over 3 minus sine 2x. So if I call that u and call that v, I'm going to use quotient rules. So u equals 4 cos 2x du dx equals, um, so cos goes to, cos goes to, if I differentiate that, goes to minus sine. So that will be sine 2x, well minus sine 2x, then times by the differential of uh, the 2x is 2. That will be minus 8. Um, and then V is equal to 3 minus sine 2x. And the differential of dV dx will be, that will go to 0. Sine goes to cos 2x. That's all you've got minus times by the 2 will be minus 2. Okay, and if we use the quotient rule, um, what we get is that times that. So that will be um, uh, uh, 8 minus 8 sine 2x multiplied by 3 minus sine 2x. That will be minus this. So that will be minus minus becomes a plus 8. And that will be cos squared 2x all over v squared which will be 3 minus sine 2x all squared now that's dy dx now don't forget don't panic about that i know it looks crazy but that's going to be the gradient of this um, empty gradient of the tangent so the gradient of the tangent um, at x equals a quarter of pi so rather than cleaning this up, I'm just going to sub this in there. So that's going to double. That's going to give me uh, pi over 2, which is 90. So sine of 90 is 1. So that's going to be minus 8 times, well, that's going to be 1. So 3 take away 1 is 2. Um, so that's going to be plus, uh, this a minus, minus. And this will be cos of 90 is 0. So that's going to be 0 all over. Uh, this is going to be 3, take away 1 is 2, 2 squared, so that's going to give me minus 16 over 4, and that's going to give me a minus 4. So that's the gradient of the tangent, so the gradient of the normal at that point will be the reciprocal of that negator, so that will be a quarter. So the equation of this line which will be in the form of y equals mx plus c, where m is a quarter, x plus c. Now, if I put in those points where y is 0 and x is a quarter pi, y is 0, and that is going to be a quarter times the pi over 4 plus c. So that's going to give me pi uh, over 16. So therefore, c will equal minus pi over 16. Okay, so that will mean the intercept here is going to be a minus pi over 16. So this is a triangle. So if I draw this triangle out like this, a right angle triangle, that length here is just going to be pi over 16. 
and that width there is just going to be pi over 4 and the area of this triangle is just going to be um, base times height shared by 2 so it's going to be uh, pi over 16 multiplied by pi over 4 shared by 2 which is the same as times in by a half so that's going to give me so the area of that it's going to give me pi times pi is pi squared times 1 is just pi squared um, pi times 64 double 64 is 128 which will be that part and then you can just conclude therefore the area of shaded region is so this was above the axis which is ln of 9 over 4 add and this is below this axis which is a triangle pi squared over 1 2 